So we're gonna hillbilly this thing. He's got a, a bit of a tall trailer, so we're gonna drive up through the driveway, across the yard, and then kind of London Bridge it across. Dan here, D Speed Shop, totally unscripted Father's Day edition. Um, so we have this thing's been in this garage here. It's been a bit of a hassle. I haven't really been doing a whole lot on the Camaro lately, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, well, I'll put this in the other shop and actually I listed, when we took this thing out of the can, uh, I took some pictures of that convertible or the Roadster, put it for sale and had a whole pile of action on that thing. And ultimately I think the people are gonna buy it. They're coming in from out of town, from Saskatchewan actually. And kind of a cool story, the guy, so it's a son, and his dad had a 57 Chevy convertible way back in the day. I think it was red. He sent me a picture of it. And, of course, let it go and as, as life happens. And now it seems like the, the he found it. He watches the channel. And I guess the, maybe the couple of the siblings are getting involved in it. They're buying the thing. And they're all coming down, dad included, to pick this thing up probably tomorrow. Uh, the 57 uh, ragtop. And take it home. So that's cool. And actually tonight, a guy looked at this car yesterday and I was coming back again today with his kid wife. and wife kid and wife oh kid and wife relax I thought it was his wife both so that's <laughs> kind of cool so I mean it's just uh it's just father's day around here so anyways uh I want to put this in the other garage just what's easier to get in and out of and we have to go get the 57 uh out of storage because it's in the it's in the can and I thought it'd be easier if it's just here and then we can wash it maybe get our, all of our stuff out of it and whatnot so that's the plan. So we'll get this thing fired up, moved over, and uh, hopefully they'll let us film their little story. That'd be kind of neat when they uh, come and grab the thing. If not, you'll just have to trust me that's what's happening. <laughs> <coughs> and I mean, it is on the internet, so it's gotta be true. Oh. I think this thing will start. E-brake on. I was just saying like up on, because uh, the guy wanted pictures of it. What's that? I probably won't hit you. What is, let's forget what's reverse is on this one. You know what I did on this thing? I changed where the throttle cable hooked up. It's much nicer to drive now. Probably should have done that, uh, oh, I don't know, a few years ago. Anyways, let's hop on the tow truck. You picked me up in this on our second date. And you didn't run for the hills. Well, I told myself I couldn't date a guy because he had a nice car, so thankfully you ended up having a pretty good personality. Well, now I have two nomads. <laughs> Let's go get that rag top. Every time this transmission. This free transmission has been more of a hassle than it has been a gift. And I didn't know if it's any good. This is my luck. I'll lug it 15 times. Go put it in a car. And then it'll probably be junk. I'm trying not to throw my back out. Shirt you got on there. Oh, yeah. Where I don't remember what website I got it off of. Uh, you know, um, I think it's ddspeedshop.ca. Oh, is that what it was? And actually, you know what I heard about that is everything's available US, Canada, UK, and Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. What a concept. Okay, so we're going to tow this thing. Um, I actually forgot, but uh, the front tire is. Flat is a is a hard term, but it's low. So we're gonna just kind of strap it on there and drag it from the front. And hopefully it'll be fine. And then when we get home, we'll put air in it. That being said, it was full. Did we even drive this thing last year? I don't remember. I must have driven last year at all. 
Oh. Watch out. So, for the tire to go down in 18 months, I'm gonna say that's fine. I really almost drove it in the wall there too. Well, this thing's got a cover with it. Mint. What a nice automobile. Oh. Connect. Connect. Okay. Am I somewhat lined up? Yeah, I'll check if we get close. Ugh. I'll hear the pump. Oh, this thing is loud. It's a little low on transmission oil too. Sounds like it's got a header leak. Oh well, it's fine. Maybe we'll fix it if I got the parts. What a unit. This thing is pretty sweet. How do you build another one? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it is bright. It's actually, it's got a exhaust leak. We should take a look at that when we get home. See if we can fix it with existing parts. Transmission's low a little bit. How low is that tire? We're not gonna do any damage, I don't think, eh? Oh yeah, it's just, it's low, but it won't be too bad. It'll make it home in my mind. So we'll load this junk up and then we'll load this thing up. Ugh, transmissions. Who made these so heavy? Why can't they be lighter? Ugh. Empty sea cans. Makes me want to buy something. Yeah. Why? We're down to like 10 cars. I need a few more. Okay. You're not helping. I'm filming. <laughs> well, help me. Then we'll film. He nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Storage wars. I didn't your you could never. We'll lock up our core transmission spritz of lubricant okay let's load this girl up Backup camera. <sighs> it's hot out. We're almost lined up perfect. It's almost like I drove up to it. Oh. 
What a nice car. Pull it just a little bit. Gentle. Gentle. Oh, there we go. And uh, go around both of them. Here, I think so last time wasn't actually around and it was frustrating. Is that what it was? Let's just pull it in just a little bit more because we can. Oh, just like that. What's it like on that tire? Is it really... Oh, it's not bad. There's still enough air in there. It's not going to talk with the thing completely. Sure a little heavy in the front end, these Tri-5 Chevrolets, but... Be good. The door still opens and closes. Okay, put her in neutral. Should we take out the cover? Uh... Yeah, maybe just kind of jam whatever down in there, and I think it should be okay. Yeah, we'll get this thing strapped down, and we'll see them later. All right, another successful trip home. Car did pretty good. Unfortunately, people are all parked up on the street here. They're in the way, don't they know I'm bringing home junk cars? The strap didn't even come off. Truck did good. So, yeah. should just be able to kind of dump this thing down and then uh, we can ride right over maybe to the new garage. I want to give it a wash and a vacuum. You know, because we're good, uh, we're good sellers. All right, coming down. Uh, where's the remote? There it is. Look at this unit. Uh, what a hot rod. It's almost sad this thing's going away. Uh, am I going to hit it if I lift it up? Nope. Minty. Minty. Perfect. You want to just toss the lights in and we'll drive this thing around? We'll come back for the truck. I don't think anyone will steal it. Yeah. One last ride in this hot rod? Yeah. You getting in? Yeah, I'm gonna go. You didn't want to scooch? Oh. Well, here's the. Here's a title for it. Oh no, I think this is your car. Why is your car's title in here? Where is the title for this thing? Oh. Is this it? Yes. A day like today is the perfect day for this car. It really is, unfortunately. Wow, well, I thought it was supposed to rain tonight. Oh. It's got a exhaust leak. We should take a look at that. Remind me. Let's see if we have a gasket to fix those any cars coming. Sorry, low tire. This is a really nice day for this car, actually. Yeah. Uh, selling cars sucks. Oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. Ugh. Gentle.
Now you get to go between the gates and turn the water on. So oh, no, my nemesis. <laughs> So this thing, the only real issue with it, it's got that exhaust leak and the ignition switch is wore out. So you gotta be careful shutting like it off. Like my car. Yeah, like your car. I'm stuck. Give it a push. There you go. It needs a little DD Speed Shop love. Okay, well let's get geared up, clean all the junk out of this thing, see what's in the trunk, and then, uh, yeah, give it a wash. We'll see what the exhaust leak is. If I have a, I don't know if I have a collector gasket. Uh, oh yeah, I got one there, and I got a header gasket, so Sprint. that's one of those, we're good. Get the compressor fired up, we'll fully, uh, fill it up. So, just seeing what we have on the wall of gaskets. It's fine there. Um, this Camaro stuff is really in the way should work and there's one in here so oh there's two in here man this should be the same perfect uh so danny gave it a quick vacuum uh what else did we do i filled the tire up with air uh i pulled it was making a clickety clack noise so obviously it burnt out a header gasket so we'll put a new one in and then it was a little low on transmission oil so we'll double check that and then maybe put some water in just double check the water level and then give it a wash and I kind of think that's it for today a pretty simple pretty simple little deal actually I want to cut this this is kind of a it's not really the best gasket yeah. Put a little schmoo on it maybe or something. The, uh, they always tend to blow out. kind of drives me nuts. A little high tamp on there. I don't know what side it blew out before. We'll just give this just a quick little shellacking. We don't want this guy to have any problems on his way home. You know, it's Father's Day and all. We here at DD Speed Shop, we care. So we'll just drop this in and then uh, wash it. It is freaking hot. It rained this morning. Now we're home after work. Holy moly, she's hot. It's very humid. It's very humid. It's like we're on power tour with Hope being on power tour. <laughs> Fixing exhaust gaskets on <laughs> Tri-5 Chevys. This is basically my life. Okay. Double check the oil level, I guess. Just a couple of things. They were talking about, he's like, Will it drive home? I'm like, well, I haven't driven in a year and a half, but maybe. And it's a, a nine hour cruise, so I don't know. I guess with enough, uh, you can drive anything, anywhere, anytime. You just have to have the right attitude. That is a great right point. So I don't know. Will it drive trouble free? Well, I wouldn't say that. You know who is the exact example of Whoops. the it'll drive anywhere, anytime, but depends on your attitude and how much BS you want to put up with? You mean who? Uh, Vibrolis oh. and Hornet Girl. The. <laughs> so the put guy that the does our artwork, <laughs> they, they drive their Vista Cruiser everywhere. They go on all these awesome adventures. But the amount of breakdowns they have is like nothing I've ever seen before. But they're always like pleased as punch to be there doing it. Like, well, they're crazy too. They, they leave without tools. Yeah. They'll buy tools on the side of the road to fix it. So like, that's why we crazy make people. do our artwork. <laughs> because he gets it. <laughs> he understands. We love those guys. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just jam this in, double check it for leaks. And if that's all good, we can wash it. And then, uh, oh, go for a ride around the block. Just make sure it has all the gears for them. They haven't left yet, so if there are any issues, I would like to, uh, again, be as honest as I possibly can be with this uh, bucket of bolts. But she's a pretty good unit. I think it'll be fine. We did drive her all the way out to like Steinbach that time. 
Yeah, so we went to Steinbach a couple times, and uh, I mean, I drove this thing to work lots. So we took it downtown lots. Like, she had a lot of miles on her, so. Yeah, but it did break down a couple times. Only once. When we was went that all was? Breakfast. Oh, yeah. The fuel pump dumped. That's the, I will say, this, so it's a 400 small block. That is the one thing I kind of dislike about the 400s is the electric fuel pump aspect, or at least this one has. Okay. We'll come back when I'm less sweaty and everything is tight. <laughs> You're never going to be less sweaty. <sighs> hey, <Sash. laughs> Okay, so... <laughs> You're going to have to edit that first spit out because I feel like people won't No get it. way. Um, so we washed this thing, the header gasket, I changed it, and I'm just going to... I put some transmission oil in it, we're just going to double check, make sure it's good. Might need a starter shim. But the oil level was good, the coolant level was good, like, it's fine. Totally, totally fine. Yeah, right at the top. So, I was going to take it for a quick ride around the block. These guys are actually thinking about driving it. I'd like to have just a little bit of a... Uh, We'll test drive in it for them. We'll go for a ride and we'll park in the other garage. When I get back to working in this one. Double no roof. Yeah, double no roofs. All right, let's roll. Oh yeah. Those are the pieces that come with it that I uh, never quite got to. Oh yeah, it was in the gear way better. So this thing, I mean, obviously needs a few things. The speedometer stopped working. There's no uh, no fuel tank or fuel gauge, sorry. <laughs> There's no fuel tank. It had a horn at one point. I wonder why that stopped working. So otherwise, I mean, that's, uh, that's that. Starter needs shimmed, transmission leak. Second gear. So yeah, something's rattling there. The exhaust against something. Oh well, that's that's part of the new owner's joys. They get to experience it all. <laughs> something's rattling is how it goes. Well, the shifter works. Just want to give it a quick one. We checked the light has lights, tail lights, and all that. We actually didn't check the tail lights, but we probably should. Well, oh, biker guy likes it. This thing gets lots of attention everywhere it goes, all the time. Okay, first gear, second gear. I think that was third gear. Making a call. Oh, no, it's just Murr. Probably saw us drive away. Well, I don't know. I think that's about it needs. It's got 60 pounds of oil pressure. There's no uh, temperature gauge on this, but as I recall, it didn't overheat. At least I don't think it did. Oh yeah, little lights in there even working, so it's got it's got signals. Does this work? Oh yeah. I don't think there's a kick down, so you got to manually shift it if you want. Plus, he's got a tilt column in it. Man, why do we keep the junk for us? We sell all the good stuff too cheap. People are losing their minds. That was selling this thing too cheap. And I actually, you know, I wanted to address that. Maybe we can do it in the podcast forever as well, but the way I look at it, so I, uh, <clears throat> when I've been selling these cars, I've been basically coming up with a price. Of, I'm sorry, this guy's just making me real happy with his, his outfit. 
<laughs> he tipped his hat. <laughs> did you get that on the I camera? I did, yeah. He was pretty cool looking. Wow, that's funny. I want to know that guy. Hey, don't drop the F-ball. It's a family show. I'm really excited. But uh, pricing. So, are we good? We can... yeah. So when I priced everything, it was basically based on how much money I had in this thing or, or whatever the car is. And I add, I don't know, some percentage because of, you know, spray paint, undercoating, brake line, stuff like that that you're not really going to keep track. And honestly, I think in every car, for me anyways, it feels like that's, you know, a thousand-ish dollars, you know, between miscellaneous, you know, hose clamps, oil change, all that sort of stuff. And... Uh, and I just want that money back out of it. I think that's fair. I could definitely ask more and, and sit on it and stuff like that. But this thing we listed on Saturday, Sunday, and it's now Wednesday. And the guy's coming, well, he was gonna come today, but he's coming tomorrow now. And you know, there's something to be said for how much time you wanna spend screwing around selling the car versus just having it go. This guy happens to, I think, be the right guy. You know, it, his story's good. <laughs> Let's hope it's all legit. And uh, you can get, oh look, a nomad on the side of the road here. Wow. Looks like crap. That looks rough. Maybe the guy has a different one. He does have a, look at, he's got a nice one. <laughs> but, so anyways, there, there's that. And if I can kind of pass a car on for what I, you know, have into it. And uh, ultimately, there's no bones about it, YouTube does pay. And if I can make a few bucks off, uh, off loop tube. Oh yeah, this thing also, this ignition switch is kind of finickety. You gotta be careful with it. Gentle, gentle. You gotta be gentle, gentle. And, uh, you know, if I can make the money that way and kind of carry on to the next one, there we go. I'm, we're in a situation where we kind of need the money in a bit of a timely manner. So that's part of it. If we were just trying to sell stuff, maybe I'd try to ask a little bit more. But ultimately, I think I feel as though the way I'm doing it, I can sleep well at night and I don't have any regret or guilt. And murder just never ends. Um, but what's on the car to the next guy? And then there you go. So. That's that. I think we're probably just gonna pop this thing in the in the garage. We've got the Cobra in there. It's just a guy coming right away to look at that thing. We'll have a topless garage. There's a ring to it, eh? <laughs> we should get the thumbnail and title it that. Topless garage on Father's Day. Yeah. For all the dads out there. <laughs> <laughs> you creep. If you crept on it because of that <laughs> thumbnail, you're a creep. Um, but yeah. That's that. So hopefully we get those dealt with. And uh, if the guy's cool filming tomorrow, bonus. If not, we'll uh, jam you know this into some went. other video. Yeah. We'll see you later. Dan here. Joy burst. Um, we're into the low calorie waters. They're not. They're not the best. So today's the day. This thing is hopefully uh, leaving my possession. So we've been moving cars around left and right. And this thing does look good in the sun, though. We're gonna, we are gonna have to build another one at some point, but went through it all. I mean, we, you know, the fluids are good. I don't know if there's any gas in it. We gotta let them know the starter's not happy. All the miscellaneous bits and hardtop stuff I've collected, I put in there, so that should be all good there. I mean, it's a pretty bare bones kind of unit. Um, <laughs> we got what we need out of it. <clears throat> the uh, get that trim a little push. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool. We put air in the tire there yesterday. It didn't go down at all. So that's, it must have been sitting for a while. I mean, I, I just checked the reg. I've had this thing since 2021. Really? <clears throat> that's what it says here. That long, hey? So yeah. Well, I mean, we had it. We built it one year, painted it the next. Then last year, we didn't do anything with it. <laughs> and it's 2024. <laughs> that's just kind of the way it goes. So. so is that how time works? That's how time works. I would like to build another one. I mean, I'd like a real convertible one of these days. Like, uh, you know, whatever, we'll see. There's one for sale, but currently on my price range and it's a little rough around the edges, but I would, now that I've built one, I kind of know what I like and what would be kind of cool. And I think I would drive it, but uh, this is a fun, fun experience. And hopefully uh, the new owners will love it. And hopefully they're cool with a little bit of filming. But otherwise, we'll see you at the end of the video some way somehow so they're basically stripping the car right in the driveway here <laughs> they didn't like your wheels they said they're not a fan of the daisy wheels <laughs> and i was a little offended but honestly i was happy so they're swapping the wheels out and there you go so it's I'm a torque thrust fellow torque hey okay, so am i but <laughs> so it's a three generation deal here 
<laughs> I, I felt bad. I had to take kid, money from the kid's piggy bank and everything there. It was, whew. He, he's loading stuff up. He's pulling wheels and everything. He's, he's got her. He's got the haircut. He's got the leather on the side. That is a kid ready to work. That's my kind of kid right there. Yeah. So we got a few parts for giving. They want an extra bumper there. Whatever I could kind of put in there, it's, it's going. So we'll swap some wheels and then we'll, uh, I guess we'll come back. We're messing around trying to get on the trailer. That'll always be a fun time. Yeah. You bought a tall one. I know, but uh, I've got tricks. Oh, if really? You got a nice big bank there. Whatever you want to do, yeah. We can, uh... <laughs> we can drive the car right up on the backyard and or yeah. drive her in, yeah. Probably drive it right on. Hey, at this point, the money's changed hands. It's your car. <laughs> so I don't, you do whatever you want. We can jump it on the trailer. <laughs> well, we get to film it. We're good. Oh, that's awesome. So we're going to hillbilly this thing. He's got a, a bit of a tall trailer. So we're going to drive up through the driveway, across the yard and then kind of London bridge it across. Oh yeah. Neighbors love it. We are our neighbors. <laughs> oh yeah, right. We always have to break that branch out of the way, and I think we'll be we'll be doing something. Do we have those clippers anywhere? Uh, there is a few are you gonna get scared and lost? Yeah. A saw or whatever. Oh, we'll see what we can accomplish here. He might be able to figure something out. Just hold it back. Yeah, we can do something there. Oh. Did that make it any better? <laughs> it did. <laughs> There's nothing I love for to watch them and the trailer back up a trailer. Saskatchewan farm boy, he knows what he's doing. It's a fire hydrant to test with. Yeah, there's a few things in the way, but look at that. Perfect. You could probably, if you, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, he's got that thing in the back there. Go ahead. Yeah, that's good. Jackknife right in there, it'll be fine. Someone else's problem, right? <laughs> well, we're real, uh, some watch hillbilly your, stuff. Watch your front end, uh Well, you're, uh, you're, you're basically there. You got an inch. It's close. You can almost, if you want to just kind of almost sweep it around a little more or something. I don't know what your thoughts are, but well, I mean, we can try and jiggle the car around. Yeah, I might be able to get a little more out of it, eh? I'll pull ahead a bit. Yeah, you can pull in the grass or do whatever you want. Yeah, you just don't want to. Oh, okay, I didn't realize I had room there. Oh, yeah. We should just start parking cars in the front yard, honestly. It looks good. I like these white walls. <laughs> Tough old bugger, eh? <laughs> This car photographs so well. 
It's unbelievable. Man. This is impressive. He's just surfing that thing. I caught dang. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. If we get enough speed, we probably even need the ramps. <laughs> so this, uh, this trailer used to be a camper. <laughs> now you like this one. Custom built for a '57 Chevrolet. I live. Dad sold some land to the RM. Yeah. And they put a landfill on it. Yeah. So right next to our field is a landfill, and I get uh, scavenger rights. Oh. <laughs> This burnt trailer that uh, was there, and I dragged it home and built the deck for it. And it's dragged, I don't know how many cars home now, yeah. but. That's awesome! It works. Yeah. It has almost all matching tires. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone through a lot of those. Look at that. This is how we should load all the cars. Yeah, honestly. Pretty simple. I should, we should dig like a little loading dock right in here. My only regret is not making the beaver tail a little more gradual yeah. and longer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right, well, you know what's up there and you can drive it. Oh, over. you want me to drive? Oh, no. Oh, no. We doing good on that side? It feels like I'm just driving off the side of a... <laughs> Whew, that was... I feel so high. Okay. Do you want the keys just left in it or... Uh, you want them? Yeah, <laughs> wow. You want the keys? You're a hard man to impress, you know oh, that? Oh, that's I'm sure. And you got your bag in the back there, buddy. If you need it. Wow, that was uh, a little nerve wracking. A little pucker up there. <laughs> to show this to Mikey here, this is how we should be loading them. We'll go grab his uh, bumper. <laughs> so, me and my son have a 57 Chevy four-door. Yeah. So, I came across your videos on converting them to two-door just because your brain says, is this possible? <laughs> Who's done this? Yeah, what kind of idiot? And this young man here. <laughs> good-looking young man. Very good-looking young man uh, uh, did it. So, we were kind of following his stuff and saw this car come up for sale. It's a 57 convertible. Um, and my dad had one just like it. It was red, it was a rag top, and... Or just like it other than it was a real car. Yeah. Not a hodgepodge. Yes, his was uh, an original. But uh, I got so sick and tired of hearing him talk about, <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't sold my car for $800. And so we came up So with... sick and tired you drove 10, 11 hours to yes, come by. Yes, uh... Saskatchewan. <laughs> and... Uh, we, uh, I brought it up with dad and he was like, oh boy, I think we better go get that thing. <laughs> and so 
kind of a, made a family road trip out of it. Axel here had to get taken out of school, which he was glad about, I mean, sad about. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, when you already got yeah. straight A's, what's another day off, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, so, we're yeah. blocking the road here. But yeah, so. Well, that's how she goes sometimes. It's a family affair and we're happy to finally see this dream come true <laughs> for my dad, so yeah, it's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Well, we were all strapped down and loaded up. No, we aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you're under the car and you're like, this is new. This is new. There's this a lot, is new. There's a lot of new parts in that car I didn't know. I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot. In the ad, like it has legit exhaust and tailpipes and a brand new fuel tank. And I put drive new drive shaft in it. Well, there she goes. It looks good going down the road. That one's sad to see go, but hey, it is what it is. At the end of the day, yeah, I got my money back out of it. We can always build another one. And man, it's a nice looking car though, eh? Those guys are gonna look like just millionaires going down the road, but, uh, but yeah, couldn't have gone to a better few guys. You know, like a three generation kind of deal. The kid's got a 57 four door. The old man had a had a you know real rag top back in the day and now he's got another one to kind of cruise around in. And they do a little car show. I forget the name of the town he told me, but he, he invited us. I forget, it was three minutes ago and I've forgotten already, but if you're in somewhere Saskatchewan, and you see that car and it's a car show, stop in, say hi. But I also told him if you ever want to sell it, I get first dibs. So <laughs> I'm really bad at selling because I like stuff coming back to me. But there you have it. Another few bucks in the old piggy bank. The, uh, the Cobra actually made a deal on, took a deposit on that and it'll be going. So today's Thursday and on Monday that thing goes, but this will be coming out Sunday. So on there you Father's go. Day. On Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Mur, I love you you know by law have to <laughs> and uh, even though i'm number two son you know it's, you're, you're a pretty good guy um yeah so that's it that's all more cars to be sold but really we're getting to be a short list now uh all we have left is that camaro i gotta finish that up and i think that uh black 47 chevrolet uh, a couple more paychecks out of work and i think we've accomplished the set income we were trying to generate to start really uh, looking for a place. So thank you guys so much for watching, supporting, buying a car. Oh yeah, t-shirts, are these available? Not. Whether these shirts are available or not, if you buy one, we really sure, we surely do appreciate it. <laughs> I think they'll be available next week. <laughs> um, again, all, all the money is being spent on currently. We should start wearing the t-shirts for... that are available. <laughs> you know what, that's your department. I'm the talent. You are the talent. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment below if you haven't subscribed. I would love you to do that and pass it along to your fellow Tri5 people who have very low standards. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, which this is all out of order. But it'll be working on... You know what? It'll be working on a Chevrolet. How about that? See you later.